I'm not sure if you knew this, but your dad had two touchdowns when he was at Dallas Cowboys, and now you've surpassed him in the stadium with three touchdowns. Is that kind of a cool moment for you? Uh, I mean, I guess it's definitely cool to think about. Um, he had a, a great career in the NFL. It was fun watching him and um, kind of going to all his games and being able to experience that. But uh, it's pretty special. So, Max, we're going to stay in the front row here on the right. Travis. Travis Brown with the Eagle. Uh, what happened on the uh, interception play there in the start of the second? Um, Honestly, I didn't really see any movement, and that, that was kind of my read, is if they're rotating or um, how the nickel was playing. I should have handed it off. Uh, my mistake, I got to be better. But um, I came back and fought after that. So, And with what happened to Anias last year, how special was it for, as a player to see him break that one off? I think it was awesome for him. I, th I think he circled that game, and uh, he came out and showed out. He punt, punt return for a touchdown, some big-time catches, so he's a baller. Max, we're going to go all the way back, last row, last riser there. Max, uh, in the back, in the back uh, I think room. to your left, uh, Eric Kelly Fox, 44. In terms of this game, topsy-turvy, kind of momentum swings everywhere. For you guys down the stretch, what was that key to securing that win and kind of keeping Arkansas at arm's length? Um, so we came out with great execution in the first half. Um, the defense played great all game. Um, we kind of slowed down in the second half, so we got to um, you know, clean up our mistakes, um, you know, not have as much turnovers. And uh, I think our guys just came ready to fight, and that's just kind of how we did it. Um, you know, we executed in the first half really well, but uh, we got some stuff to clean up. All right, Max, front row right here in the aisle. Yeah, Max, Olin Buchanan with Tech Sags. Um, do you guys ever talk about among yourselves about if you clean up some of those uh, issues, how good you might be? I totally agree. I mean, I think we should have put up a lot more points than we did. Um, you know, the defense played unbelievable. They shut them down, and um, I, I think uh, our guys are going to be excited going to next week's practice, and uh, we're going to clean up those mistakes. Max, we're going to go to the second row on the left. Jacob Richmond, Lone Star Live. Max, uh, Le'Veon's uh, been really stepping up these past two weeks. Mm -hmm. What's it been like having him in the backfield, and what has he been bringing to this offense? It's been awesome. He's been practicing really hard. Our coach has been on him about getting his protections. He's done a great job. He has, I don't think he's missed one. Um, he's done a really good job of uh, seeing the cuts and running the ball, holding on to the ball. Um, so it's been great to have him back there. Max, we're going to go to the front row of the TV risers in the back. Max, over here. Uh, ben Peck with KX. Um, what, what's the preparation like this week? Uh, maybe any different? I know as a backup, you always prepare to, you know, one play away to go into the game. But knowing not only you're going to start, but with Connor out, you're really going to kind of be guiding the ship for the rest of the way, at least over the course of this game. Just it, it, what's the difference like just kind of knowing that as you go through the week? I mean, <clears throat> it's definitely, you know, good knowing that I'm, um, you know, going to be in there and, uh, starting it off, but I've always prepared the same way, whether it was, you know, I was in or not. Um, we had a great week of preparation this week, and uh, we're looking forward to having another good week this upcoming week. All right, raise your hand again. We'll get a microphone. We're going to go third row on the left. Luke White, the battalion. Max, did you bang your hand up at all on that fumble play? I did, but, I mean, there's no excuse for fumbling the ball. I should have held the ball in my left hand, honestly. Um, so there's no excuse for that, but um, I think just a helmet hit it, so it's all good. Mm -hmm. And having started against Arkansas last year, did you take any of that experience into this one? Kind of, did you know what to expect at all? Um, I guess a little bit. I know they're a very physical team. Uh, they they had a different defense than they did last year, um, so we kind of had a plan going in for this game. But uh, we also had some plays just in case they went back and did some of the three down stuff. Um, but you know, our guys came out to fight and came out with a win. So, all right, raise your hand. If you got any questions? We'll get a microphone to you. Front row to Mark <coughs> on the left. Max, Mark Passwater's rivals. Um, I guess I'm the obligatory Evan Stewart touchdown questioner. So uh, would you walk us through that play and what you saw? I mean, honestly, that when I knew it, when I, when I knew that play was called, I knew it was going to score. We had that same exact coverage that we had in practice all week, and he did a really good job of, um, you know, crossing that defender's face. It was one high, and he did a great job of getting uh, to the other side of the field and made a great play. All right, waiting on the right side, third row back, right along the edge. Hey, Max, Carter Carls, 247 Sports. Uh, since the last time we uh, talked to you, Connor announced uh, he's out for the year. And just wondering uh, how you took that news and, and how has he kind of helped you uh, this, this week? Um, I mean, he's been in all our meetings. He's been at practice every day. So it's been a good, you know, it's been good to talk to him. But, um, you know, I've, I'm, I'm praying for him. I told him I was uh, praying for him. So I hope, he, I hope he heals up quick. Oh, we got time for two more questions. If you would raise your hand, yeah, follow, follow oh, up. And I was also going to ask, uh, how, how do you balance kind of fighting for the extra yards and knowing when to slide? Um, I mean, I got I got to learn to take care of myself uh, more often. Um, whether that's if I'm if I got the first down slide, then if if not, 
you know, I'd rather get out of bounds and not take the extra hit. But, um, you know, if it's on the line, it's fourth down, I'm, I'm going for it, so. All right. Any other questions? Going once, going twice. All right, Max, thank you. Sweet. Thank you.